All right, let's go ahead and start playoff match number two. Drivers behind the line. Three, two, one, go. Welcome to playoff match. Just as usual, first 50 seconds are completely autonomous and pre-programmed. Robots can get points purely for movement alone. As long as they exit that taped area, they can return. Their goal is to be level at the end of the autonomous period, which we just exited. 1024 and 868 both sitting level at the end of that time period. As we move into the teleoperated period, human drivers pick up their controllers and begin moving the robots that their team created this past season. Just like we were observing during the qualification process, those still game pieces and scores still count, but you don't need to worry about those ranking points. So while links still get you five points each, you no longer need that threshold since we aren't worried about ranking anymore. Everything matters and hinges on the team that wins. 829, the digital ghost, proudly placing a cone at the top part of their grid station. Securing five points for their alliance to score currently 45 to 38 in favor of the fifth blue alliance. Minute and a half remaining in the match. Team 868 proudly displaying their cone, which they're going to deliver quickly to the grid, placing it potentially in the highest part. And like we discussed earlier, links are still valuable point wise, but not for ranking point. Blue alliance able to successfully claim one of those. Red Alliance, none yet so far. 76-21, that's the Tinley Trailblazers on the far side of the field, looking to maneuver that cone into a scoring position for their team. 8-29, the Digital Goats out of Indianapolis doing the same. The scores are pretty neck and neck. We'll have to see how things are doing as we get towards the end of this match. 99-92, that's the Panther Tech bonus team. Contacting their own robot, but that's fine. Friendly fire is okay, but there's still plenty of time remaining to move game pieces around and score them for your alliance. Definitely going to be one of our tightest matchups that we'll see for a while before we move further down in the bracket. 30 seconds remaining. Like usual, as we enter the Angam period, they're trying to maximize their points by heading over to the charge station. They want it in a level configuration to score as many points as possible for their alliance. The more robots you get up there, the more points you'll score. Blue Alliance currently one level, 1024 potentially trying to join them up there. Red Alliance maneuvering to potentially get all three. That could secure the victory that they need for this team. A few seconds remaining, counting them down. Two, one, that is the end of your playoffs match two. We'll have to see how these scores total up. your scores for playoffs match two your winners are the red alliance with a score of 116 beating out the blue alliance is 102 we'll see both teams again we'll next see the red alliance in match seven they're going to remain in the upper bracket and we'll next see alliance five in match five in the lower bracket both teams still in play for another match